Hi, today we're going to take a look at directional line use. Above we have the sample picture that we're going to be using, and below we have three thumbnail sketches that I'm going to be asking you to do. Uh, one is going to be primarily using horizontal type of line, okay, and the sample should look something like this. So I want you to draw the shell or the outline of the building, okay, and then every other part that you shade in I want you to use just horizontal line. In the second time you're going to do it again primarily using vertical lines and the third time using primarily diagonal lines. Okay? If you do this in the end you should end up with uh, three very different looking drawings based on one original because you've used three different types of lines. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box drawing. Okay, this sketch that we're going to be doing is going to be the culminating activity. Okay, it's going to be worth 15%. The first sketch will be worth 5% for a total of 20 for your hard mark for September. When you're doing this uh, drawing, you need to look at the shading. We're going to be using X's or craw attaching to make the shading for the box. I'm going to show you step by step how to build it up and where common mistakes and errors happen. Okay, when you're starting any drawing, a drawing is just a bunch of lines that we put together to make something. Anyone can draw a line, I can and so can you. So when we're starting, we're going to start at the top of the box. Okay, we're simply going to make line one, and we're going to form two, three, four, and we're going to make that kind of off diamond shape. Okay, it's something that all of us can do, it's easy to create. Alright, we're going to start heading down, we're going to use uh, some vertical lines to create that downward effect coming down to do the rough edges of the top part of our box. Okay. This is the first spot where a lot of people make a common error. It should look like this on an angle. What a lot of people end up doing is they make the angle too high. Okay, so they start out doing this line correct, they draw it on an angle like this, and for whatever reason, instead of opening it up, they tend to make it going more straight up like that vertical. If you do this and you start down making your lines like that, it almost looks like a slide that someone could slide off of. Okay? So be cautious of that and make sure that when you do this angle that you're opening up this side. Okay? So first hint. When you're drawing your flaps, take your time. There are a number of small folds here. Okay. Uh, the bottom flap, when you're doing this flap, you're going to do kind of like a candy cane hook to start this angle here. Make sure it's connected down to the bottom of this vertical line. All right, we're going to go across, and we're going to link it back in to this vertical line here, and we're going to come back across. Okay, in the end, you'll be able to connect it through shading in this bottom area here. Okay. Uh, moving on to this flap, you're going to make an angle going off to the side and the same on the opposite end. Close it off on the back. You want to work on the front edge, angle down, angle down, come across, and then we're going to kind of angle out a little bit here. Same on the opposite end, and again come across. Worry about the shading in the bottom. This flap on this side is probably the easiest one to do. Fairly simplistic. Coming out and coming back in. All right. Now we have sort of the shell of our box, and we'll be working on shading it in and details after. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to come and see me. Uh, again, those trouble areas people tend to have are this flap, this flap, and this flap, and as well as that top. Okay, if you watch those four areas, there's no reason that you're not going to get an A on this assignment. Thank you very much for listening, and as always, if you need anything, come and see me in class. Bye-bye.